In this video, I'm going to give you a list of integration formulas for common trig functions. So let's begin. The indefinite integral of sine x is negative cosine x. And you don't want to forget plus c. And the indefinite integral of cosine x dx is going to be positive sine x plus c. Now sometimes you might see these trig functions in this format. The indefinite integral of sine x, I mean of sine ax plus b, it's going to be negative cosine. The angle ax plus b will be the same, but then it's divided by the derivative of ax plus b, which is a plus c. Now, it works the same way for cosine. So the indefinite integral of cosine ax plus b you could write it this way. Instead of just putting over a, you could write 1 over a sine ax plus b plus c. Now, this also works for the other trig functions like secant, cosecant, tangent, cotangent. If you have a linear function on the inside, you just have to divide your answer by a. And this is ax to the first power plus b. Now, the indefinite integral of tangent x, it's the natural log of secant x plus c. Now, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Secant x is 1 over cosine. So this is negative ln cosine x plus c. If you move the negative 1 to the front, you get cosine x to the negative 1, which is 1 over cosine, which is secant. So that's why we have the negative sign there. Now, the antiderivative, or the indefinite integral, of cotangent x dx is going to be the natural log of sine x plus c. Alternatively, you could set it equal to the natural log of negative natural log of cosecant x plus c. So that's the indefinite integral for tangent and cotangent. Now, the indefinite integral of secant x dx is going to be the natural log secant x plus tangent x plus c. The indefinite integral for cosecant x is very similar. We're going to have a natural log function, but instead of secant, it's going to be cosecant. And instead of plus, we have minus. Instead of tangent, we have cotangent. Now, the indefinite integral of not sine, but sine squared x, this is going to be 1 half x minus 1 fourth sine 2x. Now, for those of you who don't remember the double angle formulas, sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. I'm going to put the trig formula sheet in the description section below for those of you who need to review the trig formulas. So we can write this as 1 half x minus sine x cosine x. That's another way to represent the answer. And the indefinite integral of cosine squared x dx is very similar. 1 half x, but instead of minus, it's going to be 1 half x plus 1 fourth x sine 2x plus c. Very similar to sine squared. The only difference is instead of a minus, you have a plus. So we can also write it as 1 half x plus sine x cosine x plus c. By the way, if you want a list of these integration formulas, feel free to check out the formula sheet below. I have two formula sheets, the trig formula sheet and the integration formulas, uh, that sheet as well. So feel free to download both of them if you want this, because there's a lot of other integration formulas out there that you'll find useful for those of you who are studying integration at this time. Now, let's move on to tangent squared. The indefinite integral of tan squared is tangent x minus x plus c. 
Likewise, the indefinite integral of cotangent squared, it's going to be not positive, but negative cotangent x minus x plus c. The indefinite integral of secant squared is tangent x plus c, and the indefinite integral of cosecant squared is negative cotangent x plus c. Because the derivative of tangent is secant squared, and the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So the integral of cosecant squared will be negative cotangent. Now, there are some other trig formulas that you want to be familiar with. This is called the reduction formulas, in case you have higher powers than 2. So the integral of sine n x dx is going to be negative 1 over n sine n minus 1 x cosine x and then plus n minus 1 over n integral sine n minus 2 x dx. Now you may need to know the integration by parts formula. So if you're multiplying, if you have two products, it's integral u dv, which is uv minus integral v du. For three products, I have a formula for that in the formula sheet. Now the reduction formula for cosine is this. Cosine n x dx is going to be 1 over n cosine n minus 1 x sine x plus n minus 1 over n integral cosine n minus 2 x dx. Now there's another one. The integral of tan n x dx it's going to be 1 over n minus 1 tangent n minus 1 of x and then minus the integral of tangent n minus 2 x dx and n cannot equal 1. Now there's some other reduction formulas for secant, cosecant, and cotangent but I'm going to put that in the formula sheet, which you could find below. So those are some common integration formulas for trig functions that uh, you may encounter. So feel free to take a look at that formula sheet when you get a chance. And thanks again for watching.